I think it's really about infrastructure. Um, I think you have a great council. Uh, you know, I know Jim Bolt, your mayor, very well, and you know, I know that they have a vision. They've got co commercial experience, and they know what they're doing. So, if you then stand back and say, "What's government's part in that?" I think it's infrastructure. I think it's doing the things we did, and people can argue about the pace and the rate of it. But you know, whether it's schooling, Tipu School. Um, and you know, supporting in that way, whether it's the, the roading and the public transport uh, and, and stepping in there, and then whether it's helping with, um, I, I suppose, a, not a, a thing unique to Queenstown, but something that's certainly um, uh, true here as much, if not more than anywhere else, and that's that you're a jewel in the crown for, for tourism. Uh, but you know, with that comes, you know, as you know, someone was telling me last night, 80,000 people a day um, and the need to deal with that, accommodate that, provide a special experience for them while also keeping um, a special character here and you know keeping up with that. So I think you know we've got to look at all those things and not just look at them, act on them. As Transport Minister I think I have a good track record of that um, and if we were privileged to get back to government we'd keep it going. Health is a big issue of course and we've got a tiny hospital here. Yep. In the next five to seven years we're getting three extra beds. Yep. Do you think your government did drop the ball on health? No, I don't. I mean, if you look at health infrastructure, and it's funny you raise it because, uh, you know, yesterday here, out and about, um, one of the significant issues raised was the need for, uh, or the desire for a, a new hospital, uh, a decent fit-for-purpose hospital to deal with the growing resident population, obviously that huge influx of tourists each and every um, day. We did a new build, a significant new build in health, whether it was a new hospital or a, a large new wing every year. And you know, as we could, we put more money in. I mean, the great irony um, of this new government is they talk a big game on health. In fact, their funding over the next four years is lower than ours was last year. Um, and so I don't think their rhetoric meets, meets the reality of what they're doing. Any government will continue to continue to invest more in health. I think what national offers there is um, the smarts, the know-how, doing it in a, a targeted, clever way, and getting results from it. And I think we're also better on the infrastructure. And you know, I, I certainly heard the call yesterday for a, a new hospital here. One of the frustrations of Jim Bolt when he goes to Wellington is there's a perception that we're somehow wealthy and have no problems down here, but. Uh, as you probably know, we have a lot of workers who struggle to survive. We have yep. bad accommodation. So we're a, a low-wage economy with very high costs, and tourism depends on those workers. Do you think Queenstown and Wanaka are properly understood in Wellington, or is there still work to do? I think they were by national. I mean, I think, um, as your mountain scene will attest, um, as Transport Minister and Economic Development Minister, I was here a lot. And so I was in no illusion about the issues that Jim Bolt thought were on the table, um, about the need for you know transport, housing, the connection up of those, and some other needs as well, and schooling, and we've mentioned that, that the hospital. I think what is true is we have a new government that is uh, very urban in its focus. Now, of course, you know, Queenstown says urban at a level, um, but it's in regional New Zealand. And so I think it will be hard frankly, for Queenstown to you know, get its attention um, when it's very much focused on um, you know, other, other urban areas. What about the argument over bed tax? I mean, we struggle to pay for infrastructure. You've talked about the importance yeah. of infrastructure. It just seems so unbalanced that this tiny ratepayer base is trying to support three million tourists a year. Yeah. Why did National not make more progress on that? Yeah, I think um, the truth is I can't sit here and say, oh, well, let's just do it, um, because you know you know our track record, and the reality is um, senior ministers in the government weren't um, into, let's put it that way, the, the idea of a bed tax. I think under my leadership, I've changed the position. You know, I've been clear down here on my last trip, I think, um, and, and this one as well, that we have a more open stance. I think what's true in, in opposition um, is that you don't have many luxuries, but one is the, the time to think things through um, before coming to a fully realised position. So let me just say, I understand what is happening here, which is, you know, those 
big tourist numbers, a resident um, base, a ratepayer base that's much smaller than that and can't cope with that, and the need for revenue uh, to do good infrastructure, uh, by which I mean the things we've talked about, the hard stuff, but also some softer stuff like potentially uh, you know, an auditorium of some sort for concerts and the, and the like. Um, and we'll think through how we do that, what the best way to do it. I know, you know Jim Bolt, uh, others uh, have impressed on me that the idea of a, a bed tax, but look, we'll think it through and I can assure you before uh, the next election, National will have a clear position um, that I hope uh, the people of this area will like and appreciate given the need there. So finally, what would the single most important difference be between you and Labour in this part of the world? For this part of the world, I think it's infrastructure. I think you, you look at National, we know how to do it. We've done big projects. I personally have been an infrastructure minister, intimately involved in them. You know, um, uh, under um, my leadership, we delivered Kawara Bridge. We delivered um, a, a much more highway work. Uh, it's a journey, you know, excuse the pun, there's a lot more to do and we wouldn't take Queenstown for granted, we wouldn't leave it off the radar, we'd continue to strongly invest in its future.